great shot. Terrific. Very well done. Yes. Buongiorno, ciao amici, come va? Sono BC, and welcome back to Plutonium. I'm just hanging out here on the uh, the gazebo next to the number one green, number one green, or number one tea box, I should say. Hole number one, par four. It's 123 meters. All are measured from the yellow, the standard T. <clears throat> so yeah, I think we're looking at a par of 35, 36. I have been extremely busy. As you can see, a lot has changed out here. Um, I've been working every single morning, getting up really early in the morning before I got to go to Mr. Worky Work Jobby Job and uh, getting this stuff done, cranking it out. You can see I got some custom trees back here and uh, sooner or later we'll take a tour of, uh, of what it all looks like when we have the BC Family Open Tournament which uh, will be coming shortly uh, got a chance to get everybody together check this out Depth Strider 3 look at this like a motorboat I think if you have a speed 2 potion it's actually faster than a boat it is amazing Hole number seven. So check this out. We're gonna. I'm gonna take you over to the keeper shack. I expanded the maps so you can see what's going on. But look at this. Pow. Lots and lots going on. Now I just wrapped the map around the wall here just to capture the ninth hole, which is right there. But because there's an overlap, you can't really see it. But if we're looking at the map, clubhouse. Hole number one. To green one, T box two, green two, T box three, here's a green, here's a little par three, another hole right there, then a cool path down to here, another T box, we know this hole, we know this green, here's the very first hole we built, which is now number seven, T box to the green down here and the final stretch all the way back up to the island hole which then is going to end right here next to a really cool outdoor patio that we're going to build at some point later so lots of cool stuff like i said i have been working my little tail off to uh to get this course done and it is playable and ready to go and uh, again more on that when we have the bc family golf open tournament but before we can do that, there's one last little detail that we need to uh, we need to incorporate, and that is golf carts. That's right. We need golf carts because, I mean, you know, the professionals walk, but the ones that want to have fun, they ride golf carts. And so we are going to build our little golf cart shack in the back. See, look at this. Flowers all snap. It's nice. I, I'm I'm gonna toot my horn, man. This it's nice. <laughs> so I mentioned before that this little area under here was specifically reserved for a secret project, and yes, this is where the golf carts are gonna be. So I've got all the materials I need already on hand. So with a munch munch of a piece of beef, let's get started. So anyway. Uh, like I said, I've been pretty busy uh, the last. I've been pretty busy the last uh, week. I've been getting up really early in the morning. I've been really kind of excited about getting this done. And as you guys know, I got a real job, uh, and you know, real job is what pays the bills. So you gotta you gotta go with the real job. Um, however, I've been so uh, so excited and so motivated about working on this project that uh, I've been getting up about. 4:45, 5 o'clock every morning, and uh, 
let's put this workbench down and uh, working on this project you know what I want to keep working without interruptions from mobs so let's just put up we might get some babies I'm just gonna put this up temporarily come here workbench that way we can just keep working and we don't have to worry about uh, mobs coming and, and uh, messing us up and uh, we don't have to worry about sleeping and all that other junk. And huzzah. Okay. Now we're safe. All right. So, anywho, um, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah. So I've been really excited about working on this uh, on this course, and. Um, and uh, I've been getting up real early every morning, been uh, kind of just plugging away at this thing, and it, it's really been coming along the way that I've been I've been envisioning it in my mind, and uh, and that's been uh, a ton of fun in itself. Um, I'll tell you, I, I love the details, love, love, love details, and uh, definitely been incorporating tons and tons of detail uh, into this build. <clears throat> and uh, I think it's all coming along really really well we have just enough room to basically do one thing at a time so let's just do the one thing at a time so um, again don't want to talk too much about that but we will uh, that'll all come to come to fruition a little bit later on so let's see here so yeah not much uh, not much has been going on. Hope uh, hope everything has been uh, good to go with you guys. Um, oh man. Okay. So actually, there has been one thing that's been going on. That's a fun story. So uh, one gr great, wonderful, terrific. Oh Lord, thank you for the blessings. Part of my life has been. Uh, we have not had any hot water. <laughs> in our house for three days and um, and and my house is a rental uh, I don't own it um, and my landlord is uh, is 100 percent Italian and uh, and that's that's fine no nope, no worries with that uh, and and while I do speak Italian fairly well uh, definitely enough to communicate with my landlord uh, I don't have his phone number <laughs> and so uh, there's an agency that uh, we went through to uh, to find this place and so typically um, you know and and so that I also you know I don't speak perfect Italian right so um, in order for you know s for us to get some things done sometimes and make sure there's you know total fidelity that there's no loss in translation uh, I'll go to this agency from time to time and you know have them work as like an intermediary and uh, and that allows me to basically convey exactly what I want to convey to my landlord um, and and not worry about um, you know any kind of misinterpretation um, so that uh, you know if we have things that we we need specifically like you know repairs to the house or uh, you know we're having a problem with something uh, you know he can he can tend to it uh, in, a, in a proper in a proper manner um, one thing though is ugh, I'm one piece short uh, one thing though is that um, I don't know. I guess he's he's never been totally responsive. So we called this agency. I think it was so Thursday. I think it was. I started noticing that it just didn't seem like there was much hot water or anything coming out of the faucets. I mean, it just wasn't coming out. And so I've been messing with it, messing with it, and uh, the 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 house here it doesn't have your conventional hot water heater that you would think of like in the states where um, can I have you back? Thank you. Uh, where, you know, you, you have one big unit 
and it's this ginormous tank that's down in your basement that you know fills up with water and uh, and all that good stuff no it's it's actually a little teeny tiny tank um, and and I don't know how much it holds it probably holds maybe a gallon or two maybe three at the most and so but you know the thing is though is it it uses like a uh, like a rapid flash boiling process where you can basically be taking a shower and as long as you don't have like the water pressure on like screaming mad fast um, you can actually uh, the, the the water will heat up at the same pace as the shower being taken so it's it's pretty sweet because it really doesn't waste a lot of energy in the sense of like having hot water on tap at all times and so you don't constantly have a pilot light running um, you know it's not constantly using that that gas supply um, it's you know it's it's basically on demand uh, hot water and uh, and so it's it's actually a, a really cool system um, I know when we lived in Belgium we had the same kind of thing so the problem is is that the hot water is um, wow I don't think I needed all of those <clears throat> um, so the uh, I definitely didn't need all those um, anyway so the the hot water is uh, it, it's not triggering like the system is just not coming on, and uh, and I'm I I am at a loss. I have tried I've tried to do like everything I could think of um, to try and fix it, and uh, the um, so the, it basically gets a fault light and. Uh, you know the fault tells me that the pilot light just won't stay lit and so you know duh I know that because it's not staying lit and so I can kind of reset the system and it causes the pilot light to come back on but um, only momentarily and then it immediately shuts off again so uh, I think there's some sort of fault with uh, um, like some sort of valve flow mechanism whoa Hey, what? Hello? What the heck just happened? Okay, it's still in my hand. <sighs> that was weird. Okay. <clears throat> so I think there's some, like some some valve or some uh, flow mechanism in the in the system that uh, it, it's basically. I think it's stuck and um, and so because the water is not circulating um, I think the um, the uh, the system's like just shutting itself down like kind of a I don't know I guess like an emergency uh, it's saving itself so that's that's kind of annoying so I, I'm messing around with it <laughs> And um, so I'm messing around with it, and I'm trying to get to get it fixed. And uh, typically, when when the things when the system's having problems, let's just put that ladder there for now. When the system's having problems, uh, there's like a uh, I guess it's like a relief valve, and uh, it works on so the system works on pressure. And uh, it has to maintain a, a certain pressure. Usually, it's about uh, one bar. Um, one bar is uh, mm, like roughly 14 and a half psi. Um, <clears throat> and so, it needs to maintain that pressure. And so, sometimes the uh, the pressure can get out of whack. And so, you have you can drain the water out of the system, and then uh, you can. Uh, well, that's weird. My mouse just dorked it. Man, all kinds of weird things are happening. So, it can get out of whack, and then you can uh, 
basically bleed off all the excess of air and uh, and water and you can uh, refill the system with pressure so <laughs> so I was I was messing with it a couple times and um, you know I bleed the whole system and I put it back to where it was and then I bleed the system and and then I put it back to where it was and I just kept doing that over and over and and I was actually draining out a considerable amount of like really smelly uh, water like um, if you've ever drained all the air out of an old bicycle tire that's kind of what uh, it's kind of what it smelled like just that weird stale or like air out of any tire you know it just gets that weird stale smell so <clears throat> drained a bunch of water out of the system and uh, it, it was kind of darkish gray and I thought okay maybe this is some sediment that's been on the on the ground inside the system so <clears throat> got that all knocked out and uh, and I was I was refilling the system and there's an upper bleed valve and I'm <laughs> I'm messing with the upper bleed valve and uh, I'm making sure you know the air is like you know <laughs> kind of spitting out of the thing and I'm like okay great this is working and then all of a sudden I shut the bleed valve and I'm ready to be done and uh, I'm kind of closing everything up and I just hear the tank like make this scary sound it just goes like it's like this like as if it's infinitely filling up with air and immediately I start freaking out because I'm thinking okay this is the part where it explodes in my face and I die and <laughs> I'm horribly disfigured for life after I die yeah um, and uh, it just infinitely kept filling up with air and I was really getting freaked out because um, it, it really did sound like it was gonna blow up and then all of a sudden the relief valve in the bottom oh like wide open throttle just opens up and starts letting gallons and gallons and gallons of water out all over the floor it was like it was spitting out <clears throat> and so I've got this um, bucket that I'm trying to, you know, catch the water in, and uh, and I caught a good amount of it, but um, it, it it kept filling up and it kept filling up, and so <laughs> so I stop for a second, I dump the bucket, I go back, and it's like the system is just infinitely filling up with air. It's not stopping filling up with air and I'm gonna need a lot more fences than that and so I'm freaking out I'm running back and forth between like the utility sink and the thing like dumping all this water out and every time I turn around as soon as I stop like catching the water like uh, the system just starts filling up with air again like really fast scary fast making like a almost a, a, a whistling not a whistling but just a you can hear the the air pressure just rising in the system and um, and I'm freaking out so immediately I'm like screaming for help <laughs> and I just I can't stop this water from happening and I even looked under the thing in the whole process of all this craziness happening I, I look under the system to see if the the valve for the air is stuck open and and it looks fine. It looks like it's it's right where it's supposed to be. Yeah, well, it's right where it's supposed to be if you want it to infinitely put pressure in the, in the freaking system. So I totally smacked my forehead because I realized that I guess when I was trying to catch some of that water... Oh, I just made fences. Oh, dang it. Uh, when I was trying to catch some of that water... Um, I ended up bumping the valve and uh, it got stuck open like permanently it was wide open basically so it's, I just made more fences oh my gosh so if <laughs> the last couple days I've been making so many fences I guess my brain is just stuck in make fence mode so stop making fences and make a fence gate.
Thank you, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so anyway, I finally get the valve shut. And uh, and all is right with the world, except for, oh, by the way, the freaking 100 billion gallons of water that are now all over the floor. And, and this isn't a utility room now with a drain in the floor like you would see in any house in the States with somebody who had common sense. No, no, no. This is in the laundry room, and there's no drain in the floor, and it's a mess. And I, I don't know where my mop is, and so long story short, and about 400 towels later, I think we got it all cleaned up and wrung out. <sighs> and uh, hey, our, our uh, laundry room smells nice and clean and fresh now, which is great. So yeah, so that's been the excite excitement of uh, <laughs> of my uh, of my day or my weekend, I guess. It's now late in the weekend, and uh, I just came down from taking a shower, and oh no, no no no, no hot water, nope, freezing cold shower. Terrific. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's spruce. I don't want spruce. Um, so yeah, freezing cold shower. Uh, if you if you're having doubts that you are alive, that's a great way to remind yourself that you're still alive and you have feels. Is uh, to take a freezing cold shower and uh, making more things here. Okay. Oh, now I made too many. Dang. Okay, that's fine. We need lots of uh, lots of things. We need all the fence gates. Let's see, that's sixteen. I need. Just need that many. That's all I need. Okay. So anyway, so if you can see now, obviously, I'm not parking golf carts in here. No, 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 no. We are going to be using pigs with saddles. And let's see. Oh, I don't have any on me. And I don't have any string to make any. With carrot on a stick as the, uh, as the keys. So I'm going to, let's see. I just need to finish up some last details here. <clears throat> and uh, because I'm working with... Oh, you know what? I'm not doing this smart. Nope, I don't need you there. I need you here. Oh, and I'll... Let's see. Let's get the... Okay. I need a... Oh, man, this is tough. So, if you didn't know... Oh, not you. If you didn't know, you can only place uh, fence gates on ground. But... They don't need to stay on ground once you use them, but you just can't place them in midair. So we're gonna put these fence gates here, and then we're gonna shovel away our dirt. Here we go. And see, it just kind of looks like it's being—it's holding up the light, kind of like a fixture holding up the light on the on the ceiling there. So yeah. All right, so I am going to go grab a couple more things because when I came over here, my inventory was full. And I'm going to wrangle up some pigs, and then I'll be right back. So I can't find any leads, so I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way. Come on, piggy piggy. All right, all right. Got our four pigs in the stables, <laughs> and life is good. And I've got these little name tags here to correspond because this is cart number 26. Come here, bud. Come on. Pow. Number 93. Number 13. And number 77. 
There you go, bud. Corresponding. And, of course, we gotta have their keys, right? So we got cart key 26, 93, 13, and 77. So we'll put the keys up here in the chest. And uh, that way, if somebody needs to uh, drive one of the carts, they can come get the appropriate key. And last thing, there we go. Have a saddle. Come here, bud. Have a saddle. There you go. Looks good on you. Good job. There you go. Perfect. So, yeah, we got our golf carts. But we're missing one last piece that we need here because these guys can't just be... Oh. Yeah, these guys can't just run rampant, you know. Someone's got to take care of them. There's always somebody handing out keys to the golf carts. And that's where this comes in. Bert. So we got to go catch Bert. And uh, it'll be dark soon, so we'll catch Bert in a second. But, you know, having these pig stables here kind of makes me think of uh, Charlotte's Web. So I got a couple webs here. We're just going to kind of place them, place them around. I thought about getting really courageous and catching a cave spider and uh, <laughs> and trying to trap it in here and name it Charlotte but uh, I think that just sounds like instant death so we're not gonna we're not gonna try and pursue that goal and let's see Bert needs to do some house cleaning man this place is a mess all right and yeah I got one in that yeah of course one in that corner too and you know what let's huh, look at that interesting okay learn something new I knew a sword like really did it to him but I mean that axe was doing nothing so all right got some extra webs left over perfect we can always use them over at the ship so it's starting to get dark and one of the best places that uh, good old Bert likes to hang out is uh, in the field over here on the other side of the house. So we'll just wait a little bit longer. And I'll bet you we find Bert over there. Then we just got to convince him he needs to come to work. So let me leave myself a little, a little oop de oop here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Whew, this is gonna be gonna be something else. I might need some dirt. I need, I might need some dirt for Bert. Let's see. Do I have any dirt? All right, that dirt will work. All right, let's see if Bert's over here yet. Bert. Hello. Where you at, dog? I don't see him. He's somewhere around here. We just gotta find him. Bert. Hello. Hmm. Where'd he go? Whoa. That was deep. Well, that's Bert's cousin. <laughs> I don't want Bert's cousin though. We don't we don't need a football player. Where's Bert? Did you see over here? No, there's a bunch of enchanted bows over there. Don't go over there. All right, let's keep looking around for Bert. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Hey, found you. Come on, you're late for work. Yeah, you both can come, that's fine. Come on, this way. Whoa, hey, this way. All right, hold on, Bert. You just keep coming, man. We got to get rid of your little brother here. Your brother can't come play. You, no, you need to go home. It's too late for you. Come on, Bert. Come on, dude. Let's go. You're late for work. You need to hurry up. You. Okay. Here. Wait. All right. Oh no, your little brother's back. Oh! Bert! Bert, listen. Oh, now you got meat. You can't have meat. Come here, Bert. 
No. Oh gosh! No, oh, Bert, you're being mean. You can't come through here, huh? Well, you got meat. I don't want you. Oh, you're too tall. Because of the carpet? Interesting. So because of the carpet, you're too tall. So if I break the carpet... Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Bert! Dude, come on! Get out of the swimming pool! Oh, ow! There's no child... We have child labor laws, okay? You can't work. Bert doesn't like this fence post. Ow! Guy, you need to learn how to swim. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I know. I know. Burr. It's cold. Let's go. I know. I I haven't had hot water in three days. I understand. Let's go. Okay, this way. Yep. Come on. Burr. Burr. Yeah, I got it. Good job! No, get down. Bert? Oh, Bert. You wanna come over here, please? Okay. Oh, you're fast! Come on, over here. Alright. There you go. Good job, dude. Finally reported for work, man. I'm not going to tell Laura that you were late. I won't tell Thurby either. You know how she gets. You need to be here on time. Okay? Luckily, it's dark out, so not many people are going to play golf because your brother and your cousin... Look at me when I'm talking to you. Hey. Yeah, burr. Okay, burr. It's cold. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's it. We got Bert. He's going to help us out. Yep, absolutely. And now we got our golf carts. And uh, unfortunately, I've got room for four. Can't really get more room in here unless I expand the property, which not going to do. So right now, that's going to be it. <clears throat> but ladies and gentlemen, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy this episode. I had a ton of, ton, a ton, ton, ton of fun coming up with this. And uh, I think it ended up really, really snazzy. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, the course is done. Plutonium Country Club and, and Lynx is officially open. Well, not the Country Club, right? <laughs> we gotta, we got to put a whole roof on this house. It's far from done. But hey, the Lynx are done. The Lynx are done. So coming soon will be the, uh, the BC Family Golf Tournament, which should be fantastic. Bert! Get off the furniture! It's like he's trying to get up to that carrot there. That's the keys. He's trying to find a ride out. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you uh, leave me some feedback. I'd like to know how you, th how, what you think of this idea. I had a lot of fun putting it together for you. Have a great day. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go enjoy another cold shower. Talk to you later. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.